Yo, what's up, players and playettes? It's me, your boy, and I'm here to do a haul, uh, haul video for you guys. Um, I know I swore off doing these, uh, you know, last year, but um, I don't remember why I swore off doing them. I'm sure if you did the research and found that video, I would tell why. Probably just me making excuses because I was tired of doing them because I was out of ideas for the channel. But now, uh, you know, I want to I want to do a little haul video. So this is my channel. I do what I want. Uh, you can't say shit about it, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> you can. Actually, you can say shit about it. You can say it in the comments. Then I'll probably respond very delightfully because I'm a nice human. <laughs> so, all right, check this out. We're doing a haul video. I haven't done this in a while. This is like everything that I got from January to now. That's uh, so really... I cannot stress how exciting this video is going to be. You're going to... You're gonna lose your your mind when you see this stuff. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Um, okay, so you know I yeah, let's do it. So we got um, Betwixt Now and Sunrise. I had to pick this up uh, because this movie was filmed uh, in a small town where I grew up in uh, in California. So I felt like I owed it to you know my childhood to watch this movie and to buy this movie. Um, the movie itself is not great, I will say, but I get where Francis Ford Coppola was going with it. Um, you know, he's trying to do one from the heart kind of a thing. Um, and, uh, well, he already made a movie called one from the heart, but like, you know what I mean? It's a figure of speech. You dig? Um, <laughs> this movie was, you know, uh, he was trying to get some stuff off of his chest and, uh, he felt like this movie was the right way to do it. I get what he was going for. I don't think it ended up being a good movie, but I loved, love, 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 loved watching this and we'll watch it continually in the future. Um, because it's filmed entirely in the town that I was born in. Uh, so it's, it's just crazy nostalgic. Um, to, to see, you know, so that's the really cool. Um, if you know, you know, um, so that's that, uh, next I got the dentist collection, the dentist one and two. Now I only watched half of the first dentist movie. I bought this, uh, I blind bought this. Um, so I only watched half of the first movie. Cause if you're trying to watch gory horror movies with an infant, it's impossible. Um, cause there, here's the thing. You can't watch it with an infant, right? You have to make sure that the infant's like sleeping doing his own thing, vibing, that kind of thing. And then you put this on, you know, in the hopes you can watch it uh, while he's like not watching the TV while he's doing his own thing. I think he was napping when I put this on. Um, and then, you know, he woke up. I just stopped the movie because I don't want him to see a horrific ass dentist movie, uh, you know, scare him out of that and stuff like that. So one day I'll finish it, but I liked what I saw. Um, this movie's directed by Brian Yuzna, who's a collaborator with... Um, Stuart Gordon a lot. He worked on Bride of Reanimator. He was a director. He was a producer on the original Reanimator. He might have had something to do with dolls. I, I don't know. But he also directed Society, which is a crazy-ass movie where heads come out of butts and all that kind of stuff. It's wild. You guys will love it. <laughs> um, but this is The Dentist 1 and 2. Gonna watch it someday. Just uh, not today. <laughs> but, uh, oh, you know, I... When I was watching it, though, I was feeling this movie pretty hard because I had to do a bunch of dental work earlier this year. It fucking sucked. You brush your teeth, you need to floss, you do all that shit because you end up in that dentist chair doing a root canal. It's the worst thing that can happen to you. It's top five things uh, that could happen to you that's bad. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. So I got kind of triggered while I was watching this. I wasn't really having a, you know, the, the nicest time. <laughs> but my teeth are better now. Now my teeth work. So that's the important thing is the dentist sucks. And he knows he sucks. But if they're good at their job, you don't have to go back, usually. I mean, I say that now. I only got the dental work done a little bit ago. I, my fucking tooth might fail me tomorrow. And I'll be all pissed off because I got to get in a root canal. Another three grand or whatever I'm paying for that dude's Corvette and shit. Anyways, um, <laughs> next we have Fear. I got Fear, guys. Um, it's the VHS slipcover, and I'm very familiar with the VHS look, and it's this is 100% accurate. It's exactly, uh, you know, for all you millennials out there, I, I think I, technically I'm a millennial, I don't know. For all you youngsters out there, you little boys and girls, little boils and ghouls, um, you don't know what VHS is like, I do. <laughs> uh, but the VHS look just like this, and I know that because my cousin used to watch this movie every single day of her entire life for like four summers, and whenever I would go over and hang out at you know their house she would just always be watching this movie and it was crazy so this movie's very nostalgic so we trip down memory lane to watch it um and uh yeah, yeah i think this movie influenced her taste in guys but not in a good way she like she got the wrong message from this movie i hope she's not watching this video where i'm just straight putting her on blast but we'll see um okay so then i got the mist the mist is mystifying you wouldn't fucking believe it maybe that's why they call it that uh it's a great movie uh, if you've seen it, you know the ending, God tier. Uh, but if you haven't seen it, just know the ending is God tier. Um, so definitely watch this movie. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, directed by Frank Darabont, the guy who directed um, 
The Green Mile, Shawshank Redemption. He also did the, the much coveted, amazing, beautiful first season of The Walking Dead. And then when he left, this show went to total dog shit. And I uh, maybe one day I'll do a video where I just bitch for 20 minutes about The Walking Dead. You guys want to see that? Is that the kind of content you want from me? <laughs> um, next, I got The Rock. You wouldn't believe it. This doesn't even have Dwayne Johnson in it. It's bullshit. I watched the entire movie waiting for The Rock to show up. That's not true. I hate The Rock. I... You know, I don't. I know everybody else on the internet loves him. You know, just, they love Pedro Pascal and uh, the guy that plays John Wick, Keanu Reeves. And I get it; like they're good actors. I'm not saying anything bad about them per se, but all they do is just they play just like these stoic characters. I'm not talking about Dwayne Johnson anymore. Now I'm just off on a tangent because Dwayne Johnson's always very charismatic. But like Pedro Pascal and, and Keanu Reeves, like they're good actors, but everybody just worships them. Oh, they'll protect them at all costs and all this bullshit. And like they're decent actors, but they don't really deliver lines of dialogue they just kind of like mm, this is crazy that's what they do every fucking movie so like is it that cool i don't think so i mean call them great actors but you know every buzzfeed article is like pedro pascal took a shit into denny's and we're here for it i don't know what you want me to do about it anyways the rock is really really good michael bay uh directed it back in the 90s you can tell it's you know 90s michael bay because that's a good michael bay so if you like con air and you like armageddon uh, you're gonna be feeling this one if you haven't seen it already really good cast really good action really good time um then i got the hudsucker proxy this is a really great underseen and underrated coen brothers movie it was actually co-written by sam raimi and you can tell sam raimi was involved because it's got a lot of his like goofball shit in it i mean has some of the the most hilarious sight gags like i didn't expect it you know i watched this movie like recently thinking like oh it's a coen brothers movie gotta check it out i love the coen brothers stuff um, and it feels Coen Brothers-esque, but there's just so much, like, goofball shit in this movie. I loved it. I like that kind of humor, like, really kind of... I wouldn't call it slapstick, but, like, sight gags and kind of, like, literal humor. And, like, on top of that, you have, like, deeper, like, deeper humor about, like, greed and society and all that. Oh, God. I just said society and I have green hair and now everybody's getting Joker memes of me. Um, but anyways... <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's a Hudsucker proxy. Um, good movie. Check it out. Uh, would recommend. And then, uh, finally, we got Bubba Hotep. Uh, love this movie was really excited that uh, Screen Factory put it out finally put it out on 4k nonetheless now we get to see uh, Bruce Campbell's beautiful performance in stunning and glorious 4k uh, it pisses me off that Austin Butler was nominated for playing Elvis he did a dog shit job but Bruce Campbell walked home with no nominations back in 2003 that's horseshit dude he literally plays the best Elvis interpretation I've seen on film no hand or wait no hand no Hands down, <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. Oh my God. Uh, but anyways, you got Elvis in a retirement home, and then he meets uh, JFK. And you know, Elvis didn't die in the seventies, according to this lore. Well, his uh, was it his impersonator died because he switched lives with the impersonator. So he became an Elvis impersonator, the real Elvis. And then the impersonator, you know, took over as Elvis, but died of a heart attack. Meanwhile, real Elvis is rotting away in a retirement home. Uh, a mummy comes, and he's like. Uh, sucking the souls out of uh, people's buttholes <laughs> and uh, it's, it's that kind of movie and then you got uh, um, Aussie Davis playing JFK uh, now hold up because uh, JFK was Caucasian and Aussie Davis is African-American well the movie has a great explanation for it after they faked the death of JFK they dyed his skin and let him rot you know just like the rest of the old people so it checks out that tracks um, so really, really great movie great true story um, you know about Things that are happening right under our nose that we don't even know about. Um, I uh, <laughs> actually didn't know that this was coming out until I was watching. There's this other channel that I like. It's a Blu-ray channel. I'd highly recommend uh, checking his channel out called Mid-Level Media. If you guys don't watch him already. Um, but he actually swore off blind buying movies because of this movie. I didn't even know this was coming out, but then I saw his video. And I was like, shit, you didn't like it? I love it. And I, I bought it. But his reaction was kind of funny. He like really hated this movie. Because like for a plot that I just delivered... It's actually really slow moving and more about like the dialogue humor than it is about like the kind of crazy B movie exploitation stuff like you might expect with the title of Bubba Hotep. So like I get it if you don't like it, but uh, I don't know. It works for me. I love slow moving dialogue shit, so I'm all in. But yeah, that's my little small haul. That rhyme, I got bars. Um, so yeah, just uh, you know, comment below if you want to see more of this kind of shit. Maybe I'll make it. Uh, I don't know how often I'm going to be to be buying buying Blu-rays all the time and keeping up with haul videos every week because you know I got a baby and I'm not the baby anymore. So you know I got we got to buy stuff for the baby and not for this baby. So um, that's that. You know that's the end of the video. Uh, party on Wayne. Have a good night. Drive safe. 
uh, and eat healthy uh, if you can. If you can't, I understand. I, I was eating healthy last year, and I'm getting fat again. And then I tried going on a weight loss thing, and then I, I you know, I got fat again. So I get it. You know, have a good night though. Party on. Stay safe. Try, try, try hard to eat healthy. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna turn off the camera. Uh, hopefully this video recorded properly. It did. Very good. Have a good night. Love you guys.